So today is one of those days where P is working and not much is happening around the house. So there's not much to film. It snowed again. I definitely don't want to go outside in the snow. <laughs> also, my hair is incredibly dirty. So I thought I would do an updated hair care routine because my hair care routine, as always, has changed. It always does. It's just inevitable at this point. I hope this is my last, but you never know. It might change again. But in any case, it's really working well for me now. So if you'd like to grow out your hair, maybe you can get some tips from this video because I'm gonna show you a before and after shot. So the last time I cut my hair was basically exactly a year ago. It was right after Vlogmas I cut my hair. And this is what it looked like. So this is the before and this is what it looks like now after one year of growth. And this is how much it's grown. I haven't cut it in this year. So that's the last time I cut my hair. The only thing I will do is I do the search and destroy method for my split ends. Because my hair is light, I do tend to get a lot of split ends. So what I'll do is I'll just look through my hair. You know, when I feel like I want to relax, I'll get a pair of scissors and I'll look through my hair and when I find a split end, I'll just cut it off. Um, and that's what I've been doing for the last year. I haven't given myself a trim or anything like that. I haven't washed my hair. Maybe you can see how dirty it is. I haven't washed my hair in four days days and that's usually as long as I can leave it because my hair does tend to get greasy really fast. It doesn't look as bad as it used to and I think it's because of the shampoo I've been using. So let me just brush through my hair. And I'm just using, sorry it's kind of gross. I'm just using a paddle brush by Conair. Conair? I like their paddle brushes because they're very very soft. The bristles are very soft so you don't rip out your hair as much as some other paddle brushes. You know, to those people who might think it's gross not to wash your hair very often, it's actually really good for you. I mean, it's good for the skin on your scalp not to be stripped all the time. It's good for your hair, you know, it protects your hair. Yeah, it's really not that healthy to wash it very often and in fact you'll see with the products I use if I were to wash my hair every single day it would be quite harsh so these products are really for my method where I leave my hair be for as long as I possibly can which is only four days not much some people can get away with not washing their hair for a week it's those people that don't have greasy skin or greasy scalp my skin all over my body is greasy, so I don't, I'm not surprised that my scalp produces this much grease. I think it's, it's pretty much the same all over my body, to be honest. <laughs> so I brushed through my hair. It feels really nice. There's no tangles left. I could just leave it there and go and take a shower, but I'm not going to do that. And instead, I'm going to put organic virgin coconut oil. I mean, it doesn't have to be organic, but whatever. And it looks like this. And if you live in a warmer climate, this will be liquid at room temperature, but it's cold enough here that it's solid. And I'm gonna put this all over my hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for as long as I can take it. So that can be a couple of hours or I don't know, four hours. We'll see. I would suggest if you live in a colder place like I do, maybe like tucking it into your shirt, which is what I do. I know it sounds a little gross, but if you leave it out like this, the oil might like solidify it back into solid and you don't want that. You want it to stay liquid. So these are the products I'm currently using when I wash my hair. These are really cheap. I get them at Walmart for like $5 each and they're huge and they're really good to be honest. <laughs> this shampoo really cleans my hair and it does have some sulfates in it, which some people avoid like the plague. But to be honest, I wanted to clean my hair really well. And this is the best thing I've done for my hair is washing it less often, but when I wash it, really cleaning it well. I find that when I wash my hair with this shampoo, it doesn't get greasy as fast. There's nothing worse than leaving oils and product residue on your scalp. That buildup is really bad for your hair. It can even cause hair loss or like scalp issues. If you don't have a really dry scalp, this is perfect. And then I use this conditioner. It is silicone free, so that is essential for me. My hair hates silicones. This conditioner really 
um, moisturizes my hair and makes it feel soft. So I love this one. The one thing that I do that's kind of unconventional is when I get out of the shower and my hair is still wet, instead of a leave-in conditioner, I put this. So this is Maui Moisture Bamboo Fibers Thicken and Restore Conditioner. This is not a leave-in conditioner, by the way. This is just a regular conditioner. But I use just a little drop as a leave-in and it's like magic. It's so easy to detangle my hair with this. It makes it so soft, so shiny. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel gross. It's the best leave-in conditioner I've ever tried. And it's also silicone free. So I love this stuff. It's perfect. And this is also quite affordable. It's like $9 a bottle, but it's gonna last forever because I use a tiny, tiny amount. And the last thing in my hair care routine that has been helping my hair a lot, and I only recently did this, is this silk cap, this silk hair cap. And I sleep with this. I tuck all my hair in it and I sleep with it. It's 100% silk and I actually made it myself. So I, I can't tell you where to buy it. It's changed the game for me because my hair would usually get so tangled and so dry during the night. When your hair rubs against the cotton pillowcase, the cotton actually absorbs the moisture out of your hair. So it leaves it very dry. And of course it gets tangled when it's long. So this has really changed the game for me. I would highly recommend trying a silk or satin sleeping cap. That's my hair care routine updated 2020. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.